Unique self and evolutionary spirituality are profoundly related. You know, in truth, world spirituality transcends and includes evolutionary spirituality. That's the way my, 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 my close colleague and an integral mentor and, and good friend, brother, Ken Wilbur, said in a call that Ken and I and a third leading figure in the evolutionary spirituality, world spirituality, integral spirituality kind of world, you know, framed it. I think that's a right framing. In other words, evolutionary spirituality is the emphasis on the evolutionary impulse. What Barbara Marx Hubbard called the evolutionary impulse. Arabeno talks about the evolutionary imperative. That's an incredibly important emphasis that I'll talk about in a minute or two. Integral spirituality, right, is a set of pointing out instructions which allow us to see distinctions, to make discernments between different expressions of spirit, between pre-personal and transpersonal, between states of consciousness and stages of consciousness, between levels of development and lines of development, between four quadrants, right? And that's all critical between different typologies. So integral is an operating system of what I, I call pointing out. I call them integral pointing out instructions. And pointing out instruction is, is a term from Buddhism, which is a pointing out. It points out something about the nature of enlightenment. It points to something that you already know that's there. It points to it and says, oh, that which you already know, which already is always ever already present in you, that is enlightenment. So integral, the way I want to frame it here, is a set of pointing out instructions but it's pointing out instructions in first, second, and third person. It points out the nature of first person, reality and enlightenment, the nature of second person relationship and reality and enlightenment, and the nature of third person relationship, reality and enlightenment. And one of the pointing out instructions is precisely this discernment between first, second, and third person. Right? That's a pointing out instruction, that's a discernment. So integral spirituality is an operating system of integral pointing out instructions in first, second, and third person. Evolutionary spirituality is the emphasis on identifying with the evolutionary imperative, living in an evolutionary context, being profoundly aware of that context, and living in that context and aligning not with ego, but with the evolutionary impulse that lives in you, as you, and through you. World spirituality incorporates both the operating system of integral spirituality, the pointing out instructions of integral spirituality, and clearly incorporates the evolutionary dimension right, of evolutionary spirituality. What world spirituality seeks to do at every level of consciousness is offer a full expression of living, body, heart, mind, and soul, to every level of consciousness at its level. At the highest levels of consciousness, at cosmocentric consciousness, right, consciousness in which I feel identified with all sentient beings, not only with every human being, but with all sentient beings, I've actually moved perspectives. I'm actually holding the divine perspective. I'm living from the divinity of source that lives as my unique self. I feel responsible for past, present, and future. At cosmocentric consciousness, world spirituality will express itself in a cosmocentric way. But actually, at every level of consciousness, there'll be an expression of world spirituality. But at the highest level, right, world spirituality lives in an evolutionary context. World spirituality is an expression of evolution awakened to itself. And world spirituality calls every human being to live right, as an evolutionary unique self meaning a unique self who lives in an evolutionary context, and to feel in the human being, to feel in you, to feel as that person, the unique evolutionary impulse, which is your unique self, which is the personal irreducible face of essence living in you, as you, and through you. So world spirituality is a democratizing movement. It's a popular movement, right? It seeks to make the fullness of enlightenment available as a genuine option to every human being. It includes the evolutionary impulse, the evolutionary imperative, right? It's based on the pointing out operating, pointing out instructions or operating system 
of integral spirituality, and right, it moves outwards. Right? It develops a whole new set of teachings, unique self-teachings, democratization of enlightenment teachings, right? other teachings that we'll talk about in other conversations, and, and begins to become right, a, an essential feature of the public culture becomes a place where people at every level of consciousness can identify and begin to enact, right, at their level of consciousness, a world spirituality. Right, proponents of evolutionary spirituality, many of whom are, are close colleagues, some close friends, right, talk about evolutionary spirituality being at the leading edge. And, and that's important, and that's good. World spirituality may be a leading edge expression, what we call spirit's next move in the world spirituality conversation, but it's meant to embrace not only the leading edge, it's meant to become a democratized, genuine option for every person at their level of consciousness. So this begins to give you a sense of the relationship between evolutionary spirituality, world spirituality, and integral spirituality, at least you know, from my perspective where I'm sitting, right, as one of the leadership group, the founding group, in the enactment of world spirituality. It's an ongoing conversation. And each one of these three, each one of these particular expressions, this holy trinity, world spirituality, evolutionary spirituality, right, and integral spirituality, has a different unique gift to give to the conversation. And, and they all influence each other. And if we kind of can move beyond egoic branding issues, which I think everyone's doing, I think everyone across the board is doing, in all three of those systems, and really experience ourselves as part of the evolutionary process, as personal, unique, irreducible expressions from my perspective of the evolutionary process, then we'll, and we actually apply appropriately integral principles and discernments, we'll actually create a movement of spirit which will actually completely reshape in the most positive, enlivened, ethical, loving, compassionate way all of tomorrow.